channel is my here. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, it's always a delight to have you back to this channel. My name is Uma. I came about faith, my faith journey, business, marriage, and lifestyle from Otakot, Nigeria. If this is what you are interested in, then you definitely want to keep on watching. Here on this channel, I love to say a very big thank you to my wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for staying connected to this channel. Thank you for growing this community. I so much appreciate you guys. And please don't forget that you guys are the most valuable persons on this channel as always. Now, without much ado, let's jump right into the video for today. Here, yeah, today's video, I'll be sharing with us about loving up on yourself. Yes, you heard me. Loving up on yourself. A lot of persons, you know, do not love up on themselves, you know, because of certain reasons. But you see, loving up on yourself is very important. Even the Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. You know, if you love your neighbor as yourself, then you should love yourself. But when you don't love yourself, just tell me how you are going to love. When you don't love your neighbor, then how would you love yourself? So without much ado, let's also look at the scripture for today's video. The anchor scripture for, for today's video is in Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. So I'll be looking at my mobile Bible app for us to read that scripture and see what the Bible is talking about, you know, loving up on yourself. And the second, in the book of um, 39 says that, and the second is like it. Okay, let's read from 37 so we can grasp a bit of what this is all about. Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Even the Bible says that this is, you should love your neighbor as yourself. But first, you need to love upon yourself before you can love your neighbor. You need to love God. You need to love upon yourself. It is very important to love the Lord, to love upon yourself, just like you will love your neighbor. There might be certain reasons people do not love upon themselves in any way. So another thing I want to encourage you to do is to let go of the past. For you to love yourself, you need to let go of the past. We love you to let go of the past. You have to learn to let go of any past. Because if you don't do that, you know, the enemy, com the enemy comes with a lot of guilt. And from that, it's still, it's beginning to feel that, you know, you're not good enough or you're you've been hurt or you've done something really nasty and that you're not good enough. When that guilt creeps in, it begins to make you feel inferior and that way you will be able to love yourself just like the Lord would have you to love yourself. I pray that if you're having, you know, carrying on any hurt in you, I pray that the Holy Spirit will help you to let go of that past. I ask that the joy of the Lord will be your strength and God will help you get off that hurt that you're feeling now. If you let go of the past, then you are able to value yourself and see yourself the way God sees you. God loves you specially just the way you are. Then you need to value yourself and see that you are God's um, treasure. You are God's treasure child and he loves you regardless of, you know, what you feel at some point. People love yourself. Sometimes we need to hear this over and over again. You need to stand your ground and begin to live the life that God died for you to have. Do that in confidence and joy. Know that God's will for you is to be peaceful. God's will is for you is to have joy, you have peace. If you're going through any hurt at the moment, begin to speak God's words of confession and tell yourself that you are loved by God regardless of that hurt. Tell yourself that you are loved by God. Refuse that depression right now. Get up on your feet and begin to decree peace over your life. Begin to decree joy. Begin to decree the love of God over your life. And let the devil be put to shame. Tell him that you are loved by your father. You are loved by God. You need to say it over and over again. Because it is whatever you say that becomes your reality. If you begin to feel depressed, you know, regarding yourself and you decide not to love yourself, yes, you have given the devil, you know, a hand, a way. You have just given the devil an opportunity to steal and rob your joy. But you are not going to do that. I want to encourage you. Tell yourself that you are loved by God and you have overcome every circumstances you have overcome every depression that you feel that is keeping you down at the moment please keep your head up and smile again the joy of the lord is your strength feel inadequate or compare yourself with the other person always remember that in god's eyes you are special yes in god's eyes 
you are absolutely special. Do not compare yourself with somebody that has built, uh, you know, um, story building. Do not compare with yourself with somebody that has piece of cards. No, in God's eyes, you're special. Do not compare yourself with somebody that has, you know, a higher degree or qualification more than you. No, in God's eyes, you're special. You need to learn to tell yourself that you are special just the way God loves you. And you need, you need to really love up on yourself. Then another thing I would like to encourage you to do is also, you know, to always remember that trials is not a form of punishment. Trials is not a form of, you know, punishment. It doesn't mean that because you're going through a particular trial at this point in your life that God is punishing you for something that you did. No, no, no. If you have that impression, I just want to encourage you to do, let go of that impression. Trials are not punishment from God for you. You need to walk up on, walk, step up on, step on those trials in whatever it is and tell yourself that you have overcome it and that this is just a phase in your life. This is just a season. This is a season that you are in and with God you have overcome. And regardless of it, I want to also encourage you to keep declaring the word, keep confessing the word. In my previous video, I talked about confessing God's word, you know, speaking God's language. You need to keep declaring God's word just like, you know, it is written in the scripture consigning and keep those faith confessions. Never have an impression that trials are forms of punishment from God, you know, because of something you have did in time past. No, no, no. You know, whenever, you know, you commit an offense, as long as you are merciful and you ask the Lord for forgiveness, the Lord said, in fact, he has forgiven you. God has forgiven you. He holds no grudges. God holds no, you know, nothing with you. He has forgiven you. So I want to encourage you, love up on yourself. Love yourself the way God loves you. If there is anything you will grab from today's video, I want to tell you, love yourself and love yourself specially, just like your father you know, loves you. So I hope, I, I just want to pray that this video blesses somebody out there who is feeling hurt, who is living in regret. Let go of the past. Love yourself the way God loves you and do not compare yourself with others. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've been blessed watching this video and inspired, you know, to love up on yourself. So guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't seen my face before, please. My name is Uma. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my Instagram page. I would love to, you know, have us grow this community as much as we can. Thank you guys. And please stay safe till I come your way in my next video. Ciao. Bye for now.